kids who grow up on Viola Street in West Philadelphia. The boy you're about to meet was born with three strikes already against him. Single mom, absent father, and a crummy neighborhood. All of that negativity and all that violence. Kareem Rosser knew his chaos. odds weren't good. You know, I had no idea you know, what was going to get me out. But immediately when I found the stable, I knew that was my departure. Shuffling poop was your way out. Basically, you know, <laughs> it is, you know, it, it, it was, you know. At least it was the start. When Kareem was eight years old, he joined Work to Ride, a nonprofit stable founded by Leslie okay, so Heiner. Up just a little bit. For the last 15 years or so, Leslie has been making kids a deal. Work around the stable and you can ride. And if you really want to be adventurous like Kareem, you can play the sport of kings. We're the only inner city African American polo team in the country. <laughs> you heard right. She said polo. That sport traditionally reserved for the rich, the famous, and if I may be blunt, the white. I didn't even know what polo was. I never heard the word. I knew nothing about polo. Ralph Lauren polo. That's all, that's that's all, all you knew. That's all I knew of polo. This year's three men team includes Kareem, his younger brother, Damar, and their friend, Brandon, who grew up down the block on Viola Street. <laughs> they compete in the official Polo Association High School League where again, they have three strikes against them. Right there, their practice field is a ruddy old baseball diamond. Their equipment is older than dirt, and their polo ponies are all racetrack rejects. We practice on some of the worst horses. He's not cooperating. In the past, Leslie says that has made it very hard for her teams to win. Yeah. Just spanked us week after week. After but after three week years week competing, week something week amazing week happened. Week. They actually won a game. It was against a girls team, but they won nonetheless. And over the next 10 years, they have continued to improve. We are so ambitious and we always, we want it. Which brings us back to Kareem and company. Believe it or not, this year, the Work to Ride team made it all the way to the national championship game. They played so smart. Where, despite being just three kids from the hood, or maybe because of it. These kids can read each other like a book. They won 24-17. The boys from Viola Street are the new high school polo champions, proving once again that unless you're playing baseball, three strikes doesn't have to mean you're out. Because of their polo connections, Kareem and his brother now attend a $40,000 a year private high school on scholarship, and all three kids are planning on college. Good for them, and what a great story. Thanks, Thank Steve. Thanks. And that's the CBS.